Just a random dog. Should we take you home, get some food, and then try and find your owner? I hope I don't crash, because I don't know how I'm going to go and get it. Hop on FIFA, we'd grab a case, like a 30 case of beer. <laughs> that dog sounds like a monkey, doesn't it? Hello, King. Your testiculars are hanging wonderfully low. Or Queen. I mean, it's 2023, isn't it? That you can... People are kind of whatever they want to be. And... I'm probably getting cancelled here, aren't I? I literally do not care what you do with your life. Oh, there's that dude again. Okay, so time is 7.40. This is the guy that I could get the trailer for. Trailer? I don't know what you'd call it. So 7.40, he's here. Let's... I'll get a trailer, and then next time we see him, we'll stop and drop it off to him. Oh, that was gross. That was hideous. Ugh. I didn't want to spit it out being on camera, and I ended up just swallowing it. Oh. Um. Yeah, literally, don't, don't care. Be what you... Oh, what am I doing? Be what you want to be. Like, why would you care what my opinion is? Let's not, let's not go too deep into that. I'm just basically saying I don't care one way or another and you shouldn't, if you're offended by that, why, I think you ask yourself the question, why do you care what I think? You shouldn't. Trust me, you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm gonna go fly the drone right now around a, a drained swimming pool, but we've got, we've got some, some nice things happening today. Number one, the hard drive enclosure thing that we ordered yesterday, that's arriving today. I don't know why I'm excited about that. It's, it's going to be super boring. <laughs> um, so we got that. I'm undecided if we film the next me needle map video, which is the kaleidoscope version, or if... I feel like I can do both. I can do this too. Let's commit to messaging someone on Fiverr to get the Zapier, Zapier automation set up, right, for the clips that go onto TikTok. Let's get that set up. I've spent, it's been a week now and I've done nothing about it. I've just been so, f my mind has been fully focused on the Needle Mat series this week. So let's commit to doing that. And if we can, let's find an editor. That, like, I need to break that down more because find an editor, that doesn't really mean anything. I need someone with, I guess like, a, dude, that dog is so cute. <laughs> like a black and white Labradoodle. They call them Merles? No, I think a Merle is. Uh, that's three colors, isn't it? A Merle. I only know that because I did a, a website for a, um, a Labradoodle breeder. <laughs> oh no, Phantom Merle. Oh, a Phantom Merle. Three, uh, three or more colors in the fur and two different colored eyes. Either two different colored eyes or one of them's like a bluey gray color. You can see that I really clung onto that information, didn't I? When we get to putting the drone out in a few minutes, I, I mentioned, yes, I think it was yesterday or the day before, the invisible audience, which is where people are making videos in public and acting as if the camera is just there and filming them do their things. And there's a kind of a viral video now of, of some black dude in a red jacket, that's literally the search bar, walking around filming as if the camera is placed in and honestly i think this is the the serious beginning of a real switch in social media a serious switch 
we had the, like, let's say vlogging. You had vlogging in its very early days, which was just, I guess it was kind of like this. But it was a little more, um, there was a, I think there was a little more bravado in it, like showing the nice things you have in life, which then progressed into showing the perfect life. And then we went into a direction, I think it was, we'll call it like the Casey Neistat era, where you set the camera up to film you doing things. And it, at the time, it felt supernatural. Not supernatural, it felt really natural. <laughs> and everyone loved it, including me. Like I was, a, I was addicted to the next video coming out. I would, oh man. Um, I would actually take my lunch break at that time so that I could go and watch his video. And I was daily vlogging at the time too. Is that just a, what the hell? Just a random dog? Should we go and see if it has an owner? What is going on there? And now, oh, we're gonna whip this fast. Come on there, beautiful. And then you have this, this version now, which is you set the camera up for the most ridiculous, in my opinion, the most ridiculous things like, this dude set the camera up. I'll just show you the video now, and we can comment on it. Here's this dog. Let me just pull in first, and then I'll show it with the camera. What is going on? Okay, let's... I don't want it to run out into the road, so I'm gonna have to go round. Can you see it? It looks scared, doesn't it? Hi! Hello, it's okay. Come here. Hi. It's okay. Hi. It's okay. Hi, what you doing? It's okay. It's okay. Hi, it's all right. Hi, what's your name? Come here, it's all right. Oh dear. Oh gosh. Come here. Oh gosh. Yeah, I, I think he's friendly. That's all right. It's not mine. I don't know whose it is. He's, he's got headphones in. He can't hear me. Um, how should we do this? Hi, hello. What are you doing? You want to play? Do you like sticks? Hey. Hey. Oh, gosh. Hi, buddy. I want to keep him away from the road. Hello, what are you doing? You want sticky? Do you want a you want stick? You smell on the camera. Hi, come here. Come here. What are you doing? Do you want to smell my doggy? Hi, can you smell my doggy? Hello, what are you doing? Hi, you give me your paw? Hi, what you up to? You don't have a collar or anything, do you? Are you okay? What's your name? What's your name, silly? What you up to? Female. What you doing? Do you wanna get in my car and we'll try and find you're home? Yeah, because you seem lost, don't you? Yeah. Did you come from this house? Because they don't have a fence up. Could do with a bit of a tag on this one, couldn't we? What are you doing? What's your name then? Can you give me a paw? Can you give me a high five? Oh, give me a high five. Go on. 
You, your paws are all sweaty. Have you been out here for a long time? Are you okay? I guess we won't be flying the drone this morning. What are you doing? How do we find you a new home? So I've got two doggies. Do you want to come and see them? Jack sticks. Good girl. Hi. You've got the funniest haircut I've ever seen on a Labradoodle type thing. Hello. Hello. Should we take you home, get some food, and then try and find your owner? Good girl. Come on then. You want to jump in the car? Hey. Right. Let's get let's get in the car first. I know I know you're just trying to get clout, aren't you? It's okay. It's all right. Hold on. Let me get my bags out. It's all right. All right, go in then. Up you get. Oh, oh, it's okay. Hey, 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 hey. Do you not like cars? It's all right. It's okay. Hi. It's okay. What are we going to do? Do you want to jump in the car? Yeah? Come on then. Good girl. You want to jump in? I don't want to lose you. Oh, sorry. Stepped on your foot. What? Where are you taking me? All right, let me get the camera so that someone doesn't take that. Where are we going then? Where are we going? Where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? Do you live here? Do you live here? Hi. Maybe you do. I'm obviously not going to show it, but the house I'm in has a door on the top floor, like the second floor, but no way of getting to it or down from it. I imagine they ripped off the deck. What do I do? Do I knock on the back door? The front door? It seems at home here. I'm not going to film it for this person's privacy. Do I knock on the back door? What time is it? My phone. Is this your home? 7.50. Do you live here? <laughs> is this your home? Do you live here? Do I... What do I do? Do I knock on the back door? What time did I just say it was? Like 7.50. You think most people would be up? Okay, I'm gonna knock on the back door. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna turn this off for a minute and see. I'm assuming you can hear that. Well, it's left me. I'm gone through the crack in that fence. I'm not getting the answer at the door and there was a chihuahua that came out from that fence. They seem to know each other, don't they? So it has to be from here. Those dogs definitely know each other. Okay. Ex excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me? What the hell is going on? Okay, let's go and fly the drone then. Those dogs definitely know each other. My goodness. Bloody chaos. We found uh, maybe like two, no, it's probably like a month, month and a half ago now. We found a dog. And first of all, we found a cat for someone. Next, uh, we found a dog. Really, really cute Bernadoodle. 
I think my wife might have a picture still. Let's see if I can find it. And dude, that was so cute. So, but we found the owner pretty quick, like within an hour or so. Um, Labradoodles are like thousand, um, probably a Bernadoodle might be more than that now actually. But I think it's, when you see a dog that's lost, I think the first thing in your head is, oh, what am I gonna do? Someone's lost their dog. How am I gonna find them? As if like that's an impossible task. But then you just think, what if that was my dog and someone else did that? Like you'd be, like they saw the animal that you'd lost and didn't do anything about it. You'd be mortified. I would be. Put them on death row fam. Um, got with punches like that, I could have been in the ring with Logan Paul, couldn't I, and done fine. No, I probably would have cried. Um, yeah, but like in that case, I'm pretty sure, like I would say 99.9% .9 sure that was where they lived. Seemed to know the area, got on with the other dogs. I mean, I mean it actually broke through the fence where the fence had been fixed. I was playing with the other dogs, so. Oh my gosh. What's it called in Fortnite? Oh, uh, pre-fire, not pre-cum, pre-fire. This dude just pre-fired a traffic light. Nice. This is where I've, this field here, so I've come and kicked the ball around a few times. It's, I kid you not, I went to film the um, fastest penalty kick. I think it's done like two and a half million views on TikTok, and I filmed it maybe a month ago at the Women's World Cup. And I spent just over an hour driving around trying to find somewhere with an actual soccer goal that didn't have a fence or a gate around it and have like private property, violators will be shot and then hanged and then electric chaired and then butchered and fed to a donkey. This is the only one I could find. <laughs> I think something that's really cool to me about um, just... <sighs> I wouldn't say America, American Summers is, <laughs> nice indicator Oliver, is the public pools out here. Like, you're right to see it on the drone here. But it's so cool that this is available in the summer. I mean, they're kind of expensive, but you have very few outdoor pools in England. And then this one is like slides, diving boards. We took Rugi here a couple of times, but he's still so young that he's not, you know, we're not throwing him off the five meter diving board at the moment. Okay. Let's get set up. I also, I think, I'm pretty sure now that I left my um, drone battery charger at my parents' house when I went back a few weeks ago. Like, it, super annoying. I mean, they're only, they're only about $20, but it's still annoying to like waste $20, you know? I remember seeing in uh, Casey Neistat, um video where he like would forget his Apple, char his MacBook charger when he go on trips or something. And then he just runs to the Apple store and go get a new one. And I remember thinking at the time, I'm like, oh, that's so wasteful. Not wasteful, I mean, that's, yeah, wasteful of money. And then you start to realize that actually, he kind of has to. Number one, because he has to do work. And number two, because he's a mate about to make a couple hundred grand off of the, that video he edits that day. So it's within your best interest. And 
it adds to the vlog. So there's that. And isn't it weird that we live in a time where spending more money as a waste can be made into content which can be made into revenue? It's kind of funny with the sun coming through there, isn't it? All right, one of these batteries is pretty much dead. No. After we flew around that floating casino the other day. So we're about to find out which one, if it's this one or the other one. Okay. Damn goggles are on. I'm just making fat beats on my remote. Also, I think this is the iFlight OH3. I really quite like this one because it's small, easy to take around. I'll, uh, this whole hobby is very expensive, actually. But everything that I have to fly this, I'll, I'll leave it linked below in case you're like, you know what, that looks fun and I have about just over a thousand to waste. Oh, it's not doing it, okay. Get me, get, get me Googles on. All right, how much battery do we have, you juicy booty? Anytime we are at 15 and a half volts. Okay, I think I got the full battery, which is very, Deciente. Look, I don't, I don't want, I don't want you to feel like you're about to be seriously impressed because I'm still very rookie at this. I like it, and I certainly don't do it enough to be good at it. All right, so we've switched from this like half safety mode to full manual. I know it's not very smooth. I'm sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Itchy nose. I've got hair like on my nose and it's tickling me. Get out of here. Oh, I'm just rising. How cool is being able to see the world in this way? Like, I'm so jealous, but, you know, not jealous enough. Why? It seems so weird this morning. Um, I'm so jealous of the guys that are able to fly this like it's a video game. And, but not jealous enough for me to, you know, go and spend all that time practicing. Can we make this slide? Let's try and do it. I hope I don't crash because I don't know how I'm going to go and get it. Go around the lazy, lazy Susan or whatever you call it. I hope there's no water here. Skid. Oh, not much of a skid. It was kind of just like a, a quick nut tap. I thought that was a person right there. Look, I would very much like to try and go down the slide, but I don't want to lose connection. And I don't want to just, oh, that's nice little swamp water. Should we dive down into it? Psych! I mean, you knew that was coming. I wasn't about to throw my drone into there, was I? I hit this really nice... What a stupid sentence. I'm just going to say it anyway. I hit this really nice line about a month ago when I came down here and flew for the first time. The cabanas were up. Cabanas, is that what you call it? Like the roof over this thing? This bucket drops a ton of water. 
and I was able to fly like under those through here. I think I went like around this one between the tree and stuff here and then through here. Oh gosh. My head rolling around as I fly. I think, okay, we're on low battery, so let's bring this boy home. I see what I mean, these batteries, what do I mean, I see what I mean. These batteries just don't last very long at all. Bring it to the car, shall I? Should you see me? I'd give a wave, but I can't really take my hands off. Hello, boss it, bop it. Oh yeah, you want to see my setup for the camera? So I have it, it's not very easy to see with the darkness. Okay, let's come in. That was fun. I'm going to show you it now. Right. The setup, we've got the Jinkies bottle. And then it's a clip that's onto the handbrake or the e-brake. And then it just sits in here. And then you sit here and you say, Cooey Oliver, you sexy hunky junky. Sorry. What was I... We were talking about the KC Nice that area, weren't we? Before we saw the dog. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, but so that was really normal at the time. No one was like, oh gosh, look at him filming himself, um, setting up the camera and then filming himself. No one thought that. Everyone thought that they were really cool shots. But now I, I really do think we're going to see a, sh like a huge shift from this curated content to this type of content. I guess you would call it like this, where you just have someone uh, talking out loud. So I'll put my seatbelt on, I'm sorry. Talking out loud with just the camera on. And it's quite interesting. I don't watch, I don't, I just directly watch this whole video back when I edit it. I normally watch it on two times speed and I'll cut out just pauses where I'm doing nothing and I don't think it's anything. I'll cut those out. But other than that, oh, and I also, you know, check to get some clips to post on social media, on TikTok or whatever. Other than that, I don't really watch this video. But it's, I, I do get snippets of insight about how I'm like living, how I'm thinking, how I'm talking. And it's actually very interesting. Like I truly believe. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, let me finish that thought and I've got I've got another one that I think is big. Um I truly believe that like this is this is me. This is who I am. And I know it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Which leads me on to this thought process here that some people, um, how do I think of an example? Can I think of an example? Um, I think someone can be wrong, but still truly believe in what they believe. They truly think that what they believe is true, is right. So let's, let's not go into the politics of it, but let's just say someone like Putin for Russia. Let's just say in his mind, what he's doing is absolutely the right thing to do. Okay, and he believes that to his absolute core. 
And you could say that every single other person thinks that is wrong. But to him, he believes that's right. Which means that he's being real. But I guess then you could argue seeing other people's viewpoints should, in this case, Putin, consider the way other people think. And if you still feel, you know, the way that you do, then you go about the way you feel. Right? You know, when, I, when I see someone do something bad, but they don't act like they're doing a bad thing, then this is, this is how I think about it. Like, maybe they think they're doing the right thing. Like, you could say, like, my comments on, like, earlier about transgender or whatever, you could say that actually, Oliver, the way you think about that is ridiculous, it's horrible, it's bad, it's disgusting, you're the worst person in the world. I don't think that. I think, I believe that the way I think is okay with me. But like, what if someone proposes the argument that actually, Oliver, you thinking that way is harmful to the world? Imagine if the whole world thought like that, and then this is the expected outcome of everyone thinking like that. And then I'm like, if I agree with that, then I think, you know what? That's actually quite fair. Maybe I'll reconsider how I think. Until then, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Such a dumb phrase, isn't it? It is 8.15, no text from the missus yet, which means Rugi is still asleep. I, I also, honestly, I'm not, I'm not really sure where we ended up from the invisible audience thing. I think I said that I would show the video. And then I'm not sure what happened. Hopefully we concluded that. I'm pretty sure we concluded that. I'll watch this back and if needed, I'll add something. <laughs> I also bought numbing cream yesterday for the needle mat videos. So we've got a couple of suggestions. One is do it for an hour long. The next is, or was, get drunk and do it. I'm not really sure how I feel about getting drunk as a TikTok. Number one, I don't really want to get wasted because the next day is just hell. And all those calories from drinking, how, Dude, my, Shay and I were talking about this last night. So I can't believe we used to drink like through college, probably every other night. And it was nothing. That's just what everyone was doing. And I think about that now. And I think if I have like, let's say 10 beers, like there was a point where I could drink like a liter, almost a liter of vodka in a night. Like I wasn't, it wasn't bad. Like I didn't need a drink or anything like that. It was just, oh, we're, we're partying or we're drinking tonight? Cool, okay. But you think about the calories, like let's say 100 calories in a beer, you have 10 of those, that's 1,000 calories. That's like almost a third. That's about a quarter of your daily intake. Doesn't make any sense. More than a third, isn't it? It's like three-eighths. I, I honestly don't know if that's true either. But then I don't know how many calories are in a bottle of vodka, which you, I'd also have with like a two liter soda. We used to just walk around, bottle of, a liter of vodka in one hand, bottle of soda, two liter bottle of soda in the other. And that would just, oh, I think back to that and I think, how am I still alive? It used to feel terrible the next day, but, 
I don't regret, you know. I enjoyed it at the time. Also, um, on Wednesdays, I guess I was in a frat, I was in a Kappa Sigma fraternity. And my, the guy that lived next to me, him and I used to play FIFA, we called them FIFA Wednesdays. So as soon as we got done with our homework and whatnot, our assignments, we would just hop on FIFA, we'd grab a case, like a 30 case of beer, maybe some gross um, spirit. And uh, let me try and think of the rules now. The rules were a beer a game, so you had to finish the beer in the game. If you get scored upon, you took, oh, for every goal scored on you, you take, oh no, it was do 10 press ups. If you lost, you had to either take a shot or shotgun a beer. Red card, you could either choose to be a goal or shotgun or take a shot. Oh, it's, I feel like a delinquent. Delinquent, is that what I, is that the word I'm looking for? I felt like a, I don't know. Like I was a waste of space. There was one time I woke up, stood at the urinal. I think it was like 4 a.m. I'd fallen asleep at the urinal. Now, I, I, like, let me be very clear. There have probably been a handful of times in my life that I've been in a bad way from alcohol. One of which when I was younger and I was outside of a bar and mum had to pick me up, good old mummy. But the others were in like a, in a fairly controlled situation. But each came with that, those came with serious regret. <laughs> You know, I know drinking is the thing that everyone does when they go to college. And I'm really not gonna sit here driving my German whip. It's not, it's a 2016 Chevy Malibu. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna sit here and say, just don't drink. Do your thing, baby girl. Okay, we're home. And let's get, uh, let's get working. Let's get working and twerking. Twerking. Bon voyage, monsieur. I don't, oh, I already said hello this morning, didn't I? So, good, good start to the morning, by the way. I found my blue jinkies hat. Um, I also found the charger to my drone. I, I went home two or, two or three weeks ago and my suitcase has been in our bedroom the entire time, almost completely unpacked. So I did that this morning and this was at the bottom. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get this beauty plugged in. I'll tell you what, here's a little, okay. I just filmed all of that, but I'm gonna film it again because I didn't have the mic. I don't know if it hurt it. So here's my charging situation here. It looks like kind of tidy-ish, okay? But the problem is, is that like this charger and this charger here I use every single day, but they're kind of like awkward to get to. You can see this one was up on here. I also use a couple of different, get that light out so it lights up better. I also use a couple of different like USB-C items that I need to keep charged as well. Once a day, maybe. I need some, I need a system that's better than this. I don't know how much time I'm going to put into finding that, but I do need to find that. Step by step. Okay, so for now, this cable comes out into here, and I plug in ya, and then you sit nicely there until you're done charging. Yeah. Um, first thing, find someone on Zapier. Let me, this needs to go on charge. 
Do you find it, if you're watching this, do you find that it's all very scatterbrained? Like that I'm scatterbrained? I'm just kind of all over the place. I feel like I am. But like, this is, so this is one of the interesting things. It's like, to me, I have no idea how the like average, the normal person, like let's say you, I have near, no idea how the normal person lives their life. I really only have that experience of my parents, sister, and wife. Like compared to my wife, I'm extremely scatterbrained. But how am I compared to other people? Like, yeah, I have, you know, like 30, 60 second breaks in here, maybe longer where I don't say anything. But I end up coming out with some rubbish, you know? Like something comes out. And that's part of my brain just... To me, it's always on. I'm fine with it. I quite like it. Learn to live with it if that's not the norm. Like, I don't, I don't learn to live with thinking all the time. I just live with thinking all the time, right? Because I think through when I say certain things here, I think about how like it could very easily be taken as if I think I'm special not terms of i deserve a lot in life but just that i think i'm special compared to everyone else i don't think that i just think i am me and i'm doing things my way and i have my experiences and that's that you know one of the f as i continue to clean the room one of the funny things about um like let's take um, so my wife, obviously, you know, whilst having a child, she consumes a fair bit of like baby type of content, right? Like mom talk type stuff, excuse me, where these moms are giving advice on how to do certain things with their baby. And honestly, most of this crap comes from, I'll call it crap because of what I'm about to go into, comes from reels and reels. You don't really have people. There's not much talking head type stuff. It's more film yourself doing stuff and um, text over the top. And one of the things I see a lot is saying your child should be doing this or just do this and your child can do that. And I think that kind of stuff is just super, it's like really toxic. No child is the same. These mothers and you can talk, take this across any niche. These mothers talking as though they know exactly what needs to be done and they've had one kid or two kids and their kids are their kids based on how the mum and dad are as parents. No kids are the same. Like we can't just use a blanket, your kid should be doing this or shouldn't be doing that. And then you have like all these mothers who, are, who aren't sure of the type of mother or aren't sure what they're doing which honestly is every type of mother and dad. I'm not really sure exactly what we're doing, but we'll try and do it the best way. I think if you have the right intentions, you'll figure it out. But to be telling the parents who are, and I don't mean this in, in a particularly negative way, who are insecure about how they are doing, mummying, <laughs> they're gonna take this and, and if their child isn't doing what this thing is telling them to do, they're going to be mortally upset. I don't know how to fold that. So I think this might be one of those things that I just kind of like crunch up and throw somewhere. How would you fold that? Would you just go... Like that's how I started and then if that one goes up and then that one comes down... Oh, for goodness sake, you old tart. Oh. Frick me. Yes, yeah, so like that just doesn't look like it's going to be a 
And then where have you come from? <sighs> and now I still have to get it to clean up, don't I? Let's put this away. second it will get on Fiverr. I'm not really, I think finding someone on Fiverr is not difficult to do a job. Finding someone is not difficult. But finding the right person to get the right thing done and being able to articulate, being able to share exactly what you want done, that I think is the difficult part. So I think I've just been putting it off because I don't, I don't know if fear is the right word, but I have a fear of wasting time. Like I have a fear of spend, taking the time to message someone only to find out that that's not the right person. And then you're hit with that realization that you've just wasted however much time that was, which is silly because then you make zero progress. I have plans for this, this storage area back here. It goes back probably about five to seven or eight feet. And then it comes across this way, maybe to about here at this height. And then it like dips down under the stairs that go up to the upstairs, surprisingly. So I need to turn it into a nice little storage area, maybe I can turn it into a, like it would be cool to have as a, like a gaming area, like a gaming den. Cause it's like, we all know how much of a huge gamer I am. Like I know that idea sounds like a serious waste, but um, I think if you, like the trade off between the cost of something and the enjoyment that it brings, like you just have to balance those things. So like if, if money isn't an issue, then I'm sure you'll get lots of enjoyment from something like that. Whereas if money's tight, that would be a stupid thing to do. Really stupid thing to do. Okay. I'm still putting things away, but check out this. This is from, this is a screwdriver that came with my first ever pair of good football boots, like soccer cleats. So they used to have blades. Let me see if I can find a picture. These are oh. Adidas gunmetal. They would be soft, yeah, soft ground mania, predator mania. Oh, these. Dude, I, when I have the money, I will pay silly money if I can find a new pair of these. This is what they look like. I don't want to be weird. But like, you know how guys, some people, some guys have sex with their cars or something? Could do that with these. I'm just like, I can't believe I said that. I wouldn't, let's just be very clear. They're nice looking boots, but we're not gonna go that far. This is me right now. This is where there are a few things left out on the floor and I'm trying to tell, decide in my mind, should I just clean these up or should I just get into sending the messages on Fiverr. And I have come to the conclusion that I clean up. So we've got a few things left. Got Duda's dog ball. That can probably go out here. This, uh, 
I don't even, even, oh, that was for a, when I was trying to make an FPV car, so like the drone we flew this morning is called an FPV drone, a first person view drone. And so I tried to make a, an RC car mixed with a, like a drone like that, that you can essentially play Rocket League with in real life. I ended up stopping it because I didn't have the funds to be able to like get into really like pay someone to make it because I don't have the knowledge and I didn't have time. Well, I just chose not to utilize my time for that. And then I was, we were in conversation, I say we at this time, this was like a year and this was the summer before the one that's just gone, in communication with Epic Games. We were literally like had phone calls for a Rocket League promotion, which would have given me the, um, what's it called, the budget I needed to actually go and get it made. The, we left the phone call as beautiful. I'll send over the contract in the next few days and never heard back. So that was demoralizing. And honestly, I think that was almost the, I think that was very close to being the nail in the coffin of like, all right, never mind, which sucks. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just kept going and made it. Should I have? Everything happens for a reason, doesn't it? In terms of, geez, I keep blabbering. In terms of priorities in life, I feel like if if you really want something to be done, you'll prioritize it. You'll find a way to prioritize it. If not, then it just wasn't meant to be, it wasn't high enough priority on your list of things to do. I think, I think life's that simple. If you really want something, you'll muster up whatever's needed to go and get it done. If not, you're on to the next best thing. All right, let me vacuum. I literally can't even go to the toilet without thinking how far behind I am on things. I've just seen a video about HeyGen AI, which not only translates whatever you're saying into a new language, but also dubs your mouth so that it looks like you're speaking in that language. Because I don't know about you, but watching a Netflix show that's actually Norwegian, but then just dubbed over in English, nah, not watching that, no chance. So I'm like, hmm, now I should add this to my list and then set up channels for each country and then more people in more countries can, I'd say not watch, but listen to me waffle if, you know, the odd viewer pops in. <laughs> All right. Hello, dude, how are you doing? You look very comfy. All right, boy. Step one. Boy is it's quite high, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Judah. So I have this is this is basically my setup, right? Laptop and monitor. I rarely use this monitor. Rarely. I think I just use it for gaming. Fiverr.com. That's where we're trying to go. Sign in. Cool, still works. Okay. Uh, I want the standard three to five steps. Honestly, mate, I'm not sure. Let's have a chat with Ashar. Hi, Ashar. I'm looking to I would like an automation to take files from a uh, I'll give him the basics and then my kind of idea and then see what he thinks. This is actually the way that I think that I think we should communicate wants and desires, right? So he's the professional. I'm the novice. I have an idea of what I want, but I'm sure he has some much better ideas of how to do it. So hi, Shah. I would like an automation to um, 
auto upload videos to my social media accounts at a specific time of day, a specific time of day. Is this something you'd be able to help with, please? Um, my initial, I would like your expertise on how to do this. I would like your expertise on how to do this best, but my Um, I would like your expertise on how to do this, but my first thought is to place files in a Google Drive folder and then have all those files auto uploaded. to a social media account at a specific time. My thought is to place all files in a Google, tri file, Google Drive folder and have all those files auto uploaded to a social media account at a specific time. I would like Um, I have four accounts that I actually use, three accounts. I think, it, should we do it on Instagram as well? Yeah. How many am I using? Four. I have 12 accounts across three platforms. So four accounts per platform. I think we just start with that. Let me read it back over. Hi, Asha. I would like an automation to auto upload videos to my social media accounts at a specific time of day. Is this something you'd be able to help, please? Help with, please. I would like your expertise on how to do this best, but my first thought is to place files in the Google Drive folder and then have all those files auto uploaded to a social media account, account at a specific time. I have 12 accounts across three platforms, so four accounts plus per platform. Once you place your order, when would you like your services delivered? I don't know, three days. Uh, budget. How much did he say for this? Copy, kill, so he said 60. Premium 80. So complex multi step saps three to five. I don't know, let's just. Oh, sh sugars. Contact me, get a quote. Let's say three days and, I don't know, 60. Submit request. Should we look for some others? Napier integration, great. Okay, we've got the ball rolling on that integration, which means I should be able to, oh, now I need video editor clips. I will custom edit, cut and clip your podcast videos 
for YouTube. Weird clip to start with. Ow. I kind of want... In terms of time zones, I think this is actually a, a thing. I'd want someone who is, oh, I guess, good thing living in Kansas City is that pretty much the rest of the world is ahead of us in time zones. So I could send something overnight and they would get it the next day. Shafiq, where are you from, bruv? Pakistan, all right. Let's have a look at what you've been able to do. Losing hundreds of thousands of views by responding to your comments with an emoji. This is for somebody who wants to learn how to invest in real estate. I'll say DM me tap. So we're looking at $5 a short, which means if we've got, um, let's say we post one per account per day, ideally, I think more. Hi, Woogies! Hold on. If he's doing, if I ask this guy to do, let's just say four videos a day, that's $20 a day, right? And then we'll say you do that over the whole month, that's 30, so we're looking at 150. Five three is 15, yeah, $150 a month, which really isn't too bad. Wait. No, it's not. It's $5 times 120, <laughs> uh, which is $600. I'm just trying to think through this. Of the last few videos, there's actually probably more like 10 clips. Maybe we can negotiate. Hi, Shafiq. Hi, Shafiq. Um, I'd like to have let's say five to ten clips a day, five to ten clips per day I'm edited with captions and perhaps gameplay. Hi Shafiq, I'd like to have five to 10 clips per day edited. Five to 10, what am I trying to get across? I should figure I'd like to have five to 10 clips per day edited with captions and perhaps gameplay on screen. I can have each clip uploaded to a Google Drive. I can have each clip each individual clip, each individual clip uploaded to a Google Drive folder to then have auto captions added. What's up with this text box? I should figure I'd like to have five, to, why can't I flip in? I'd like to have five to 10 clips per day edited with captions and and also maybe gameplay on screen. Gameplay on screen like a satisfying video. Um, Subway surfers. or something similar. I can have each individual clip uploaded to a Google Drive folder, folder to then have auto for you 
to then have auto captions added. For you to then do your thing. Can Can we discuss a price for this? If he, how much was the auto captions? Upload video auto captions AI. Video caption generator. One thousand four hundred and forty. So that's f okay. So that's pretty cheap. Let's let's just give this a try. Like I'd like this to be as smooth as possible. I don't want to have to do oh, what your captions are not what I'm looking for. just want the like social media style captions why wouldn't you show that at the top of your website what it looks like pricing That's crazy, 25 p cents per minute. Four videos would cost me a dollar. Let's see, AI transcription, let's see an example of what this looks like. You literally don't even have an example of what your transcripts look like. Oh, it's not captions, it's transcripts. I'm just trying to think through what is the best way for me to do this. So from my end, I edit the long form video in the morning, right? At which point I also decide what is going to be a clip. Now I can either export as soon as I notice that it's a clip, which would be really easy to do. Or I finish editing that video and then come back to get all of those afterwards. Again, easy, but that would take a bit more time. And then I have to throw all of those into CapCut, get the captions. That's, I think that is the annoyance, is having to, to export each of those. That's the thing that is annoying, isn't it? And then I would just drop all of those into I don't know why. Okay, like I, I did, I know I looked at this a while ago, a few Sub magic. It was this place, wasn't it? Okay, pricing. Forty dollars. 
70 videos. So let's say this dude was going to edit them. How many videos was I going to do? Let, like, let's say there's even doing 10 a day and I film on weekdays. So what's that week? I don't know, 20 days. That's 200. Should we give this, give this one a go? Oh wait, sign up. Sign up with email, yeah. I think the, um, what's going on here is that I don't have the, I'm not in a place right now to just start throwing money to let someone else completely take care of it. Like I do think that a real person will do better than the AI can do, but Talking about, bruv. Um, I, yeah, I do think a person could do better and adapt based on like trends that I see. But for now, yeah, I think we just see. Should we try one? Let's see. I'm sorry that I don't finish my thoughts. I'm not at a place to throw money at it. So if I can cut some of my time off to like prove that this will work, because essentially I'm still trying to prove that getting out these clips and uploading them to social media will help grow the YouTube channel. I'm still trying to prove that out. So once I have proven that out and start making money from it, then I can start getting other people to do it for me and do the whole process. So I, I, ideally, I don't even have to think about it. All right, cause then the annoying thing here is that like, let's say this is the video I edited this morning and where I've got a red marker on here, that is where I've um, essentially put a marker to say, this is a clip so that now I can come into my index, go on the tags and I find that I've got all these down here. And so if I don't do it at the time, I can come back and see what I need to clip. But if I have to put it in a nine by six, so change it from this to a vertical format, then I'll have to go back, select all of these, drag them into a new project. Like I'll just show you. So new project, vertical, okay. Go back to that project. And I'm gonna have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm seeing how long this will take me. I don't know if I need these clips underneath. All right, copy those, bring into this one, get rid of all this space. And then What does this say? I was watching this video this morning. I guess I can talk while I'm doing this. And it was. Right, you see what I'm doing? Annoyingly. Four, but I know it's going to. I'm having to. I guess at this point I'd have to do this anyway to, or I could, yeah, I'd have to do this anyway to export it for someone else. And then I would do, those and this one 
would be modify smart conform. So like we're a minute and a half in now. This one would be like that. And I'll copy that across. This one would be I guess the top one we're going to make bigger. Like, I think it's fair to say that at this point, obviously, I'm I'm also trying to figure out what's the best thing to do. Copy that across here. So then, okay, there's one clip. Let's get you out of here. Two, yes, and then let's say I try you. Oh, wait, just come down step. There and there. Cancel, because you didn't select the whole flipping clip, did you? All right, now let's see how this slots into here. So we've got the first one, which is in the wrong format. Let's try that, see if it does anything. What did it say? Invalid file format, so. Oh, you fat donkey. <laughs> Apple devices, I guess, saves in the wrong format, so. I guess we're doing it in that format. This was number three, wasn't it? Three. Two. I don't remember. Two. I don't remember what one was. And my face, which is, you know, as what is. And this one was one, wasn't it? I still don't know if that was the right format. I would assume it is. So two dot mov, three dot mov. Right, can we upload three at a time? Upload your video. I did. So I've changed this from here. Let's just see what this looks like. Well, I should do a side quest of just trying to get big. Should I? Should I? Like just follow eating the perfect. Should I? Like just follow eat. Should I? Like just follow. Like just follow eating the perfect foods, the perfect type, the perfect type of workout, and just see what happens. Okay, I'm like pretty happy with that. Let's see if I can do. Oh gosh, multiple at a time. So I guess let's put two. I don't know what that number is. Two, two what? make two versions of it.
This is going to be annoying. Oh, that's the title of it. What if, instead of having someone do all the captions, like, having, okay, so I think I should own editing the main long form video in the morning. I think I should own that in case there's something that I say that I, I come to the next morning, I'm like, probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> So then I'm also cutting the, getting the clips out. And then if I copy all those clips over to this like vertical file here, and I make small tweaks like I did just there, and then I throw in some gameplay underneath, let's say satisfying. Which means then these right and then this clip would need to go down to here and make bigger and then i just export this whole thing whack that into cap cut auto captions which i can leave to do itself export that whole thing and then have someone else cut the clips i don't know this is where i think having a team like someone that you can just talk through this with so that they can say yeah i like that idea but what about this and then together you can come to a decision, like someone to bounce the ideas off of. Because if I choose an editor, I mean a flat, what, like 500 a month? Yeah, I wonder if what I would do is, like let's say I reset all of this, it's just the clip that's come in. I don't have the satisfying video bit. I'll just reset it. It's annoying with the smart form conform, but like, okay. So this is the clip. I send that to the person, they then do everything for it. Okay, Dilawa has gotten back to us. Awesome, thank you. Um, what in... Is there more information I can provide you with to consider a estimate slash quote. So quickly, um, um, thanks for getting back to me so quickly. 
what am I, he wants a quote, but what do I want? I was hoping you could help me with a quote. Since I can offer a few options. Option one. I send a single file. Single unedited file shot in. Sixteen by nine with multiple with let's say five to ten clips to be cut, edited, and uploaded to a Google Drive. Option two. I send a, I send, oh, upload to a Google Drive folder shot in 9 by 16, 16 by 9 format with 5 to 10 clips to be cut, edited, and uploaded to another Google Drive folder. I upload each individual file to a Google Drive folder. To a Google Drive folder shot with upload each individual file. five to 10 individual files to a Google Drive folder shot in 16 by nine format to be cut, edited and uploaded to it. Two, single, each, clip would be separated by five seconds of dead space to help you see the start and end of each clip. Option three, I upload five to 10 individual files. Let's say for now my budget is $500 a month. Okay. If I have How many clips? I say 10 clips from each video and I'm doing around 20 days. A bit more like 22, let's say. If I have five to 10 clips per day, If I have five to 10 clips per day,
if I have five to ten clips, why can't I? Um, for 22 days in a month. That would mean I would like five times 22 between 110 and 220 clips edited per month. 220 times five One one ten times five. Um, for now, can you work with a budget of Five dollars per month. All right, I I I know that's kind of low. Um, but at the moment, I don't think I can afford. And if he's like, nah, that's definitely too low. Then we'll reduce the number of clips. But as this starts to earn money and generate revenue. I would like, you know, if him and I stay together, I would like to pay him more for his time. Um, I won't even bother about promising that at the moment. Okay. Feels good to get moving on this. Um, Dilawa, what else can I do? I think one of my problems I have, I'll stop the screen recording now because I'm done there. One of the problems I have is that I think, I try and think through so much in my head. Like th this, for example, I'm now thinking that I start giving him more information than he's asking for. So I'm like, there's going to be five to 10 clips per day. Um, I want the title to be updated before posting, like the cap, yeah, the like description caption to be this. But there are times that I think there needs to be context with a video. In which case text needs to be added. I feel like I have a few options there. Like, cause if this gets auto posted, I don't get to touch it after I've exported the video and put it onto Google Drive, right? Do I ask, do I do it? Do I just throw in some text on the video? I don't think that's the right one because then the text is part of the video to then go and be edited. I don't think that's right. I could have the, the guy who edits them do it. I do that, but how do I, how do I tell him to do it? How do I tell him what to do? Do I just use the title of the video file as the caption? I do that. I think that's, Dude, you're so weird. She'll do this thing in the look, she'll... Do it again. Dude, you got licky lickies? Of course, now. There we go. She'll just do that just continuously for minutes in the morning after I wake up. And if I'm just sat there for a minute, a couple of minutes, she might do that. 
It's so annoying. <laughs> All right, I'll keep you updated on how that comes out. Yeah, exciting stuff. All right, just quickly, I've had a look at that Heijen. I definitely won't be doing it to start with because it's, I wouldn't say it's expensive for what it does, but I do think it's kind of pricey for right now. So like, let's say each of my videos just on average is 60 minutes. It would be costing me $96 per video. You do that five times a week and you're looking at $500. You do that 20 times a month. Wow. Looking, looking at like at least more than that. <laughs> yeah, it's two grand a month. So for now, new, but it's cool that that's out there. That's, I mean, that's, in my opinion, I don't know. I don't, I think that's cheap. I don't know anything about <laughs> whether that's cheap or not. Uh, but it looked cool. I watched these guys' videos. Video. Yeah, basically that. Really cool. Not where I'm at at the moment. Okay, let's get the Fiverr app downloaded. I'll tell you what, Shafiq is playing hardball right here. So we've had a bit back and forth. He seems to be able to do it. Um, I've asked him for a sample and he's, I asked for two. And he said, you know what? You need to pay for those. I said, well, how about one? So if he said, no, $5. Shafiq. Play, you play hardball. Don't worry about work quality, just send your file link in the requirements section. Confirm and pay, preparing your order. What did I just pay with? Well, I don't even know what I just paid with. Personal use. Is this order, uh, what, is this order part of a bigger project you're working on? Yeah, bud. Um, as discussed in messages, uh, single video to be edited uh, Google Drive link to be sent directly and in messages all right Bob do I have something to say to Shafiq yeah, mate, I do have something to say to Shafiq. Okay. okay. Um. Let's see how he does with. Yo, I don't want you lot nicking my editor, okay? Shafiq, about to see what you can do. devices no I actually wanted video and audio didn't I not ProRes test one uh, new folder clips okay inside of clips I don't need to sort out this whole file structure I'm just gonna all right bud I'm going to throw that in here. Uh, 
right click share anyone with the link copy link done here's the link I'm going to throw a bro in there Should I also um, what if I do How do you spell rhyming? It is right. Move to trash. The file is named with text I would like. Added the top of the shot. Should I find him an example? Let's go back to odd right clips. I also don't. Okay. So he's got the video file, he's got an instruction of what type of clip to put under the title of the clip. And captions. This would be this would be so nice if I can edit my video and then just throw the clips up into a Google Drive folder and then I check back a bit later and he has uploaded them. Oh no, I wouldn't even have to check. The automation would pick up those files and automatically post. If this if this works, this would be amazing. Thank you for your quick responses. I know it's late for you. I don't just, I felt like throwing that in there. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll come back to that once he has um, figured that out and see what it looks like. Okay. All right, Shafiq, you top sausage. Oh, sorry, Duda. Did I get you? I'm sorry. Oh, beautiful. We did cornrows in Duda last night. We'll have to get, I'll do them again tonight and I'll get a shot. You had freaking lovely cornrows, didn't you? You had one, two, and you looked, you looked like a dragon. Like Khaleesi, didn't you? 
Yeah, Dad, I look freaking sick. Does anyone else have voices for their dogs? So, my wife and I have a voice that we we would argue is the same voice for her. And, like, her and I will have conversations as if she is talking to us. I've always wanted to know, we both always wanted to know, is that normal for dog owners to have that? Or is it just my wife and I? Like, we'll have full conversations. I'll have to... Next time we do it, I'll have to film one, and it's going to be embarrassing, but it's going to happen. Oh, good girl. Oh, yeah, baby. The system, the system, the hard drive system should be arriving. And you go over team now and two. I'm not a fan of the uh, Fiverr messages going into my... I get flipping notifications from Fiverr that go to my email, so I'm gonna have to turn that off. Preferences, notifications, email notifications, no, 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 no. Push notifications. I have Bruce, my gigs, my account, marketing notifications, all that is trash. Sure, dude. Oh man, I feel, I feel terrible. I um, I asked some people for quotes on some other things a while back. They sent me a quote and I just, honestly, I just, I never came back to Fiverr. Hey, really sorry for wasting your time. Hey. Thank you for your quote and I'm really sorry for wasting your time. As I won't be progressing with this project. All the best. And I copy that to the other dude as well. Hey, thank you for your quote, and I'm really sorry for wasting your time as I won't be progressing with this project for now. It's very impersonal. Really, isn't it? Do I have notifications on for that? Oh my gosh. Notifications, Fiverr. Yes, I do. Okay, all right. Okay, Kenny has just text. So Kenny makes content on TikTok and YouTube, but he's just switched over to cooking content. And he likes to do series of things too. It's like somewhat similar to what I do. But his question is, do you recommend I do just one series at a time for the cooking stuff? Now, before I reply, my thought on that is, like, he has two series that he wants to do, and he's like, shall I just do them, you know, one day I'll do one, the next day I'll do another, I'll just do whatever I feel like. I think for TikTok, tic I mean, I'll just say this all in a voice note. What? There's no microphone? What? Is there... Can you not record? Do you not... What do I want to say? I think if I was going to start like, oh, fucking hell, just don't, just forget this message. 
ignore that one. <laughs> um, I was thinking, you know how TikTok used to be content would just show up whenever. I still think it's like, meaning that a chronological, like your post would not show up in a chronological order to viewers. It just depends if it's doing well or not. I still think it's the same way, less so, but I still think it's the same way. Meaning, if you're gonna do a series, I think it's better to do just the, that series continuously, unless there's a reason that you can't continue that series. Like, I don't know, you get to one of the states and you can't source one of the products, for example. Or like in my case, let's say the, the No Poo series, Obviously, I can't just have that one series going. I'm going, to have, I'm going to have multiple at a time. But I think if your viewer come, comes to your video, they're either going to click through the comment that you've replied to to get to a previous video, which I think you should do. I think you should reply to comments, which I know you know how to do, or you know to do. And if that's not a possibility, they'll then go to your page, you know, select that option to go down to Just Watched, and then click either the videos before or after it. And if they're different series, I don't know, they might just skip that until they get to the next one in the series. Right? I don't know, I think you should do them all at once. That was long-winded, wasn't it? I tell you what, I feel so much better having started on getting the um, clips edited and the Zapier automations. Such a huge load off my head. It's a huge load off my mind, isn't it? I was going to film the needle map video today, but I'm on a roll with some other things that need to be done. And I can just get that done next week, I'm thinking. But, but okay, maybe this is coming into part of my decision too. So let me record my screen. Sha. Uh, but, but, okay, now we have the screen recording. <laughs> it's easier for me to add it in when I'm editing. I am, oh yeah, these two videos. So, <clears throat> the, this one here, here's my, was the first one, obviously, and that was me explaining how to do the needle mat, which has gone up a lot in views. I remember saying that people weren't particularly interested in that. The next video is just a, I hope you juicy fruit bags are a random clip of my back, so I didn't expect that to do particularly well. The part two, we're almost at a million there. But then the part three, this is my journey to. If you were watching this video the other day, I talked through how good the metrics are on this video. Yeah, 71% at three seconds, which is exceedingly good. That's, that's like viral material. That's the viral placement you want to be at. And then at 10 seconds, we still got 56%. And then by the end, yeah, we're down at like around 25%, which is typical for a video that does very well. Like you can see from the traffic sources here, 57% was basically the um, For You page. That's a lot coming from the personal profile, which means people have seen a previous video, come to my profile and then seen it or clicked on that video because they've wanted the next part. That's a lot. And then from the following is 7%. Like you just, you really don't get much from your followers on TikTok. Not that it's the followers fault. You just don't get shown videos. It's more of a, a platform for exposure. Um, and then, so I should expect that one to do much better. Over Here's time. my journey to relax. 
And then yesterday's video, posted 20 hours ago, is just under 13K views. Dude, what are you, you ju I just took you out. You don't need to go out again. You're just being sausage, aren't you? Um, wow. So yeah, we're just under 70% at three seconds and then 10 seconds, we're down at 50%. But at 47, we see a massive drop off. Here's that. my journey to relaxation on a bed of 6,000 needles as I challenge myself the disco lights on, I switch to white noise. You know, when we're struggling with big changes, sometimes I think it's better to make smaller changes and then improve upon that. Yeah. Oh, yowzers. It was like there was a disco on my eyeballs. Here's my journey to really big change. really tell me what I wanted to. In fact, I actually have more questions. That's, an, that's a big drop in that place, but it is the most steady line I have ever seen for dropping. People didn't like the uh, the nice message. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll give it a few days or two. So that has definitely got me at a point of not wanting to film the last one. Or well, I guess we can like we can make it into a few more videos, can't we? But it's funny how typically you would. I. I still think that making series on TikTok is under tapped, untapped, underutilized. What do you want, bro? What could I help you with? Because typically, it, if the concept is good, It does, do, is it normal for dogs to burp all the time? Why do you burp so much? Yeah, like typically a series will do well because people are following along for the journey. I think it's good to make it known that it's going to be a series in the first video and that's going to help propel people. And then in the second, third and following episodes or parts, you mention what you did in the previous part. That helps people understand that there's going to be more and there was previous so that they can be yeah, part of that journey, part of that experience and seeing someone change. So if you will, a single video is watching someone change through that video and then a series is watching someone change throughout the whole, through multiple videos. Good, good, you done. Okay, okay. Let's. Um, this is the other question I have on my mind. I quite like making thumbnails, right? It's quite fun. But there are often times that I don't want to do it. Like I don't know. I don't know what to do, and it takes me too long. So it'd be nice if I had someone that I could say, I'd love for you to make a thumbnail for this. This is kind of my idea. Run with it as you will. And then if I happen to want to make another thumbnail for myself, like I have a really good idea, then I want to try making it. I can do that. For this being spinach, kale, apple, cucumber, pear, lemon, celery, and mint, Pretty darn good. Okay. All right, we should hear back in a few hours from this, um, I forgot his name on Fiverr. Shafiq. Cool dude. What am I going to work on right now? You know what? I might take a 50 minute break and play. Right. If 
if my screen is smashed, you'll know it didn't go well. <laughs> it is amazing how much better I feel having gotten some of those things like started. And actually we just got, oh, let's do that first. I'm interested to see. We just got the message from Lila. That, that dog sounds like a monkey, doesn't it? Why do you sound like a chimp? Can you stop, please? All right. First time. Let's have a butcher's then. A butcher's is a butcher's. A butcher's hook, which is, let's have a look. That's some really huge Cockney rhyming slang for you. I don't really know much about Cockney rhyming slang. Looks good. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so I'll tell him, tell him dash by a tip at the moment. Not yet. La Guys, will you chill, please? I'm almost done. Stop. That's enough, Lila. Quick to respond. Great delivery and clear communication. Looking forward to working together. Okay, also got some of the things, the um, numbing cream and, what is this? Go, go, do that. Not really sure, but it's heavy. Hi, do that. It's all right. <laughs> Duda hates boxes. Cool, so we've got the, this is the the enclosure, the hard drive enclosure, right? Everything sits in here. And then the um, actual hard drives that slot in are on their way. Guys, chill. Uh, I've got this going on, I've got the message, I've got you, and yeah, we've got to leave in a second. Will, will you relax, Duda, please? Please? Good girl, all right. The, the dog that sounds like a monkey, uh, we're going to shave her tomorrow. She's like really matted. It's not our dog, but we're going to shave her, give her a, a nice little mohawk down the middle. So I might make a small short video tomorrow with that and setting this up if the stuff arrives today. Um, and then it looks like we're going to move on to the bulk order of this. So Shafiq, let's do it. All right. Yeah, it's Friday for me, so... Enjoy the weekend, but it's probably like Monday or Tuesday for you, so enjoy the week. <laughs> That's it.